Welcome to this lecture on SIMRESP, a MATLAB toolbox that uh, was developed for the simulation of human and robotic hands. The toolbox was mainly developed by the University of Siena and um, in particular by the Robotics and Systems Lab. So um, the main focus of the SIRS Lab, that is the Siena Robotics and Systems Lab, is on the um, hands, human and robotic hands. Why? Because hands enabled humans to evolve and enable humans to perceive and act on the external environment. The perception is related to the sense of touch and whatever concerns haptics, whereas the action that the human can do uh, in, on the external environment is uh, concerned with grasping and manipulation. Now, CSLAB uh, focuses both on haptics and grasping and manipulation because transferring these abilities to robotic hands is one of the biggest challenges in robotics research. Uh, now, we will focus mainly on grasping and manipulation because SYNGRASP was um, created to, with the aim of um, simulating grasps. What is a grasp? A grasp is uh, mainly uh, composed of a hand, an object, and uh, the contacts that uh, connect these two. Uh, all these um, things can be mathematically described as with models such as uh, the one in the middle that you can see but um, uh, can and can these models can be used both for modeling uh, robotic hands but also human hands uh, so a grasp is said to be achieved when whenever um, the hand is able to exert suitable forces to prevent the object motion with respect to the hand the new trend in uh, robotics is to build highly underactuated and compliant robotic hands. Why? Because these hands are lighter and usually um, less expensive than the rigid ones, but also because um, compliant hands enable a robust and safe interaction with the environment and a safe interaction with humans. Moreover, uh, hands such as those that you can see in the slide um, are more um, can adapt to several different objects and so can, can have very good performances in grasping. Um, in, in the photos you can see the RBON2, the PISA soft hand and the uh, Model T of the Yale Open Hand project. Uh, these are examples of underactuated and compliant hands. Underactuation uh, is achieved by um, whenever the hand has more degrees of freedom than the uh, number of actuated degrees of freedom. To achieve underactuation in robotic hands, uh, we can leverage on concepts that were first studied in neuroscience. And one of these uh, very important concepts is the concept of synergies. Synergies uh, are high-level mechanisms that govern the manner in which a hand is shaped uh, to grasp an object. Um, in fact, neuroscience, neuroscientists uh, found out that our brain does not command each joint of the, of the hand, but uh, gives very few inputs uh, to the hand. And um, these synergies, these inputs, uh, generate coordinated movements of the fingers. Um, so these uh, neuroscientists, and in particular Santello and others, in a paper of 1998, uh, demonstrated that few of these movements, of these synergies, can explain the majority of uh, grasps in the, uh, of the human hand. Here you can see uh, the first three synergies, and actually by combining these three movements, that are coordinated movements uh, of the fingers, um, the human hand can grasp a large variety of objects. Uh, the, the purpose of the uh, THE project was exactly the uh, transferring uh, this concept of synergies in robotic hands. And what was born was the uh, PISA IIT soft hand um, that embeds the first synergy uh, that was studied in humans um, and has one motor and 19 degrees of freedom. What we have seen so far is that the um, robotics research is, and in particular uh, the design of robotic hands, is concentrating on devices that are highly, highly compliant and underactuated. 
what is needed now is to have mathematical models of these uh, hands and uh, to simulate them. Uh, this is why to, uh, the Singras proof box was born. As you can understand, they, the um, name of the toolbox is the union of uh, synergies and grasp. And Singrasp was born exactly with the purpose of analyzing uh, grasps with fully actuated and under actuated hands with compliance. Um, the toolbox uh, was developed in MATLAB and uh, we chose MATLAB because it is uh, very well known in the research community and it embeds some uh, toolboxes like those on optimization and statistics that are very useful also for analyzing grasps. Syngrasp has two types of user interfaces, a uh, graphical user interface and a scripting one, um, and allows and modeling, grasp definition and grasp analysis. We will see these features in the detail in the following slides. Concerning the graphical user interface, um, here we have a small video of uh, the usage of, of this interface. As you can see, you can choose the hand and place it. You can then uh, choose a obje an object and place it. And you will see then, then uh, that then we can also um, move the hand joints in a suitable pre-grasp uh, position. And then uh, by pressing on the grasp button, we will call the um, grasp planner that will compute the breast grasp uh, according to a certain quality measure. Uh, once we have the grasp, we can evaluate different quality measures uh, for the grasp that we have. Seeing grasp allows to model both the human and the robotic hands. Um, it contains already some models. As you can see, for example, the paradigmatic hand is very similar to a human hand whereas there are also models of um, robotic hands such as the DLR hand and the Barrett hand. It is also possible to define new hand models and this can be done easily by defining the dynamic artifact parameters of the hand that we want to model in, in Syngrasp. Um, then, once we have defined a hand and an object, it is, it is possible also to define a grasp. So a grasp can be defined in two main ways. Uh, first of all, it can be uh, directly mm, specified, so we can directly specify the contacts with the functions sg add contact and sg uh, add fingertip contact, or uh, we can uh, uh, give the hand and the object to the grasp planner and let it compute uh, the best grasp according to a certain quality measure that we can choose. So once our grasp is defined, uh, it is possible to analyze it from a quasi-static point of view. In particular, we can see what happens between two equilibrium positions uh, when we activate a synergy or simply uh, uh, or some joints. In particular, it is possible to evaluate the variation of the joint positions, the variation of the contact forces, the variation of the joint torques, uh, the object motions inside the hand, and if friction constraints are satisfied. In this figure, you can see um, uh, a simplified model of the hand, including uh, uh, a synergistic actuation and compliances at the joint level and at the contact level. Now that we have seen how Syngras works and uh, why it was created, we can briefly um, see what are the numbers of Syngras. Syngras was developed since 2012 by five researchers of the Sears lab and it contains more than 300 functions and scripts for grasp analysis. But this number is continu continuously growing with our research. It, was, it is the subject of two published papers. You can find the titles uh, um, in, the, in the website of the toolbox. Uh, it was downloaded uh, a lot of times together with the user guide, and it is used in five European projects. You can see the projects here. So Syngrasp is a toolbox that is continuously growing, and this is possible also thanks to the user's help. 
so we um, encourage you to write an email to singrasp at the dii.unc.it uh, if you are interested in developing some code for Syngrasp, but also if you find uh, problems in the, in, the, in the toolbox or if you want to suggest new functions that should be included. Uh, here you find the um, direct uh, link to the how, contrib how to contribute page of the uh, Syngrasp website. What is left now is to download the toolbox. Uh, you can find it uh, in, um, in the Syngrasp website. Uh, you can find the website just by typing Syngrasp in Google, or you can directly access to the download um, section of the website by uh, following this QR code. Thanks for listening to the lecture.